Hello and welcome to another Dr. Pi tutorial. Here you can see me adding the Adafruit hat to the Raspberry Pi 2. Apply gentle pressure, push the hat down onto the Raspberry Pi and uh, mind the fingers. I had to solder the 40 pin header onto the hat, so it's not pretty, but it works. Coming up in a second, I provide you with the wiring diagram on how to connect the stepper motors to the hat. I'm just going to power up the Pi, check it works with the hat installed and that I haven't damaged it or anything like that. The stepper motor will come with the white connector, but you'll need to chop that off to attach it to the hat. This wiring diagram, I haven't found it anywhere else on the internet, so you may wish to pause this and uh, refer back to it. This is a bit where I remember I've got OpenELEC installed on this Pi from my Kodi project. I need to uh, shut this down safely and get a new image of Raspbian installed on it. So here we go. Next we need to provide an independent 5 volt power supply to the hat as we don't want to power the motors directly from the Raspberry Pi and we're not able to either. These small green and black connectors are really useful for a 5 volt power supply and they allow you to connect and disconnect your project really easily without having to unscrew and potentially damage the wires. So I had an old phone charger, I chopped the end off, I attached the connector and then the connector connects to the connector attached to the Adafruit hat. So one power supply for the Pi, one power supply for the hat. There we go. Hope you're uh, enjoying this so far. So we have the red light showing the pie is working and we're about to get the green light showing that the hat's working. So I want to SSH onto my pie to safely shut it down. I've forgotten the IP address so I'm just going to check it on the router. So I'm going to safely shut down the open elect distro, remove it and transfer it to my other PC to copy across the image for Raspbian Buster. I used a nice free piece of software called Etcher, which copies the image from my PC onto the SD card ready to put back into the Pi. I've speeded this up just for this video, so uh, yeah, it takes a bit longer than this in real life. I'm going to edit the image to enable me to boot it up in headless mode so that I can SSH to it straight away without needing a keyboard or a monitor. There's plenty of tutorials on the web on how to do this, but it's uh, really handy if you haven't got the hardware to connect it up with a keyboard and monitor. So after booting up the new image on the SD card, I then looked on my router to get the IP address and ssh onto the Pi. Next you can see me enabling I2C, I also enabled SPI and changed the host name. I changed the host name so that I didn't get modelled up with my other Raspberry Pi. I'm just going to shut up for a moment as you may wish to pause on any of these following screens and just uh, follow the same commands which I've run.
Right, so with all that done, we're nearly ready to start testing. I'm going to go to the Adafruit site and download the example file and get ready to run the motor. I'm Dr. Pi, thanks for watching, please subscribe, and as ever, remember, the value of your investments can go down as well as up.